All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about the displacement of metals from solution. And in particular, we're going to talk about this in terms of electron transfer. So we've got a couple of things we need to look at. First off, over here, we have our, we have our elemental state. Okay, In this case, that's going to be zinc, and the elemental state is the atom in its natural state. Okay, so it's an element. Um, and when we talk about metals, that means it's going to be shiny and grey. It's just going to look like a metal. The cation, that's an ion that has lost electrons. Okay, in this case, we're going to talk about copper. And copper has lost two electrons. Okay, so we're going to talk about copper in particular. Um, now, essentially what we're looking at is when we stick a more reactive metal into a cation solution. Okay, so a more reactive metal, that's really important, must be more reactive. Um, and we'll just go, so our elemental metal must be more reactive. We'll, we'll get into why in another lesson. Um, okay, so it's going to be put a more reactive metal into solution. Um, then what will happen is these cations which are in solution will come towards the metal right and they will give their electron to sorry that's backwards actually they will take an electron two electrons from the elemental metal okay so they take electrons from the elemental metal and they move and deposit there okay so they'll deposit on the strip of metal um, okay, so copper ion comes along, it's a cation, it's missing two electrons. It reacts with the zinc electro, el zinc elemental metal by taking two electrons from it. They go over this way, it takes two electrons from it, and the copper will deposit itself as a solid element on the zinc strip. Okay, and now we, we use something here called ionic equations. So this is what an ionic equation looks like. We're looking at the changes in ions. Okay, so you've got the copper two plus plus is two electrons. Okay, so the copper two plus the copper takes two electrons and becomes copper solid. Okay, you've got the zinc here, which is a solid. And that's our strip here. So the strip goes in and becomes a solid, and the zinc will loses two electrons, go into solution, and become and have two free electrons, give off two free electrons. So what we have is these zinc atoms have re been replaced by these copper atoms. So they, they swap out one for one, pretty much. Um, so they copper out one for one. So this will become more and more copper and less and less zinc. So you've got that. And also, what we'll notice is that the... So we'll notice two things. Uh, we'll notice that the colour, because we're talking about copper sulphate, so this is... Uh, CuSO4. Now, there is copper sulfate. In, the sulfate ions in there, but they are they stay right out of it. So the color fades. And the other thing we'll notice is that a deposit of less reactive metal forms. Now. That's all pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. So over here we have our ionic equations. Okay, so you've got zinc solid um, goes to zinc ion aqueous and two electrons. You've got the copper ion here. It takes those two electrons. They come from over here. So that goes over there. It takes those two copper electrons and becomes copper solid. Okay, so these are our two ionic equations. Now we can just draw that as one. We can draw that as a net ionic equation. Okay, so zinc solid plus copper plus the two electrons that are free gives us zinc aqueous plus two plus the copper solid plus the two electrons. Now, we don't need to have that on there. They cancel each other out, so we'll, we'll, we'll cancel them out. Which gives us, this is our net ionic equation. So you've got zinc. So this is the formation and transfer of electrons in an ion. Okay. 
Um, that's what we're doing, looking at here. So we've got zinc solid plus copper ion goes to zinc ion plus copper solid. Now let's just summarize these in the steps, okay? So if we're writing it in yellow, it's going to be about the metal strip. If we're writing it in white, it's going to be the copper, oh, oh sorry, the cation solution. The metal strip is the elemental state. Okay, so the first thing you know, that you've put that in the solution, it's that sort of, um, here's your solution, there's your metal strip's got in. Um, the metal strip gives away electrons, okay? This means the metal strip itself has become a cation. It, and then the ions, the cations, go into solution. So they leave off and they go into solution. The cation accepts the electrons. So we've got this here. Okay, so it takes the electrons which this is giving away and they deposit up here as in the elemental state. So the, um, we'll write deposits there. And that's us. That's how that works. Okay, so go over it again if you need to. And yeah, see you later.